All right, this is setting up both sides. And part of me, I'm just over here uh, texting out where people can find this game. We don't have any any viewers yet, but it's good to treat it like we do because uh, the next day people are probably going to check this out, and I am archiving it. Okay, that's good. So, I'll click the uh, the L stick. Let me take a look. Oh, they got some pretty cool names over here again. I like the Power Hours names, um, as always. Yeah. And um, all right, so there, there go the names. Got some names too. Yep, Arnold yes they do. <laughs> I like that. Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich. A lizard yeah. Beth Banks. Yeah, I've actually announced for both of these teams before, so I recognize these guys. Um, awesome. And let's see. Let's take a look at what their abilities are. There is the famed Knob Creek coming in with Mighty Blow and the Claw. This guy is dangerous. Steer clear of him unless you want to lose a source too. Yep. I wouldn't be looking forward to playing that. No. He's a hunter. Alright, and this is, uh, the game kicks off, and there is a Hit pitch him, invasion. Man. The fans go crazy, and that's a bunch of beastmen and a chaos word that goes down. Oh, that is not a good start for the power hour. I can only two imagine... Two celebrity reptiles went down. Oh, and two of them. Five, I, didn't, I couldn't even see those guys amidst all the beastmen down. Wow. And right now, more shots has got to be going crazy and cursing up a storm. I can only imagine. Yeah, there he is. How will he deal with this setback? This is what distinguishes the all-time great coaches the action without from the guys that just come in here and hope for good dice. Yeah. 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 Let's hope this isn't a... Nuffle's going to no, screw uh, you. It's just going to happen. You can't come. avoid it, you know? And uh, you got to be right. ready for it and deal with it. Like a champ. Yeah, I, I don't mind being screwed. What bothers me is when half of half of somebody rolls or once. <laughs> yeah. Then then you gotta start Even thinking, man, what are they using to generate these dice rolls? And half of his rolls are ones. You're like, oh, this is horrible. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got a block. Oh that beast man's got clawed too. That was a quick turn. Granted, half of his guys are laying on ground. I think your mic might be off. I don't hear anything. I think he's. How about now? Can you hear me? No. He's yep, I hear you now. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, I, my wire for my microphone is messed up. So if I go quiet for too long, let me know. All right, might be time to invest in a new one. Yeah, I really should get my this one replaced. It's a pretty expensive one. And the wire just yeah. working like crap. All right, so Monitor Wahlberg breaks the cage, and he is up in the face of Marsheep Falk. How will what will he do now? to keep the power hour on their toes. Uh, it looks like he's just going to close in. Just I'm man up on everybody. Skinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to pull the skink to this side. Just to make sure that that beast man doesn't run downfield on him. Probably a smart move. Yeah. You also probably don't want to initiate contact, though. The skinks can he be also, fragile. I don't know if he does it on purpose. I do it on purpose a lot with my skinks. But that creates a target. And if your opponent is of the idea that he wants to remove all your sticks, then he could waste his blitz on that and let you overcome overcome the ball carrier. I think your mic's out again. I hear you trying to fix it.
They'll know. Now? Still no. Yep, there you go. Alright, there we go. Yeah, man, I don't know what it is with this mic, man. But, thanks for bearing with me. No problem. I'll let you know every time I don't hear you anymore. Alright. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I've been suckered by that kind of deal, too. I, can, I just can't resist when I'm not playing with lizard men. I can't resist the urge to hit skinks. Or goblins. Right. Or mm -hmm. any of those. Uh, who else is out there? Skinks, goblins. Um, more little guys. Shit, elves. Any kind of elf. Basically. I bring I bring extra skinks on the truth just so I can do that. Yeah. Make you have to decide whether it's worth the blitz to help open up the ball carrier or to, or to use a blitz early. You know, to try to get extra hits on the skinks early. Yeah, that's smart. Right well, you probably don't want to do that with like and a there level. Is no, there is really skin. no right answer. I guess the right answer depends on on how safe the ball carrier looks. Mm -hmm. At the All same right. Time. And they meet the block. That saw us as leader. Interesting. <laughs> yep. Monitor Walmer. Which is. Come on. This is probably why Nob Creek went after him. If you could knock him out, yeah. you Good basically call. take away a reroll for the second half. Yep. For the first half, if he hasn't used it yet, I don't know if he used it. Oh, I thought it was, um, I thought it just matters if you have the guy on the field when the first half starts, you oh, get the reroll. I thought, I thought if you haven't used it, uh, if he comes off, then, uh, I don't know. That would be more complicated. It's, it's a lot easier for the system to do it your way, so that's probably all it is. That's what I thought I read. Okay. That makes sense, too. And, and that way the computer doesn't have to keep track of it, either. Right. Or a player on the, on the table. Well, on the table, it was easy, because it gave you... It, it said team uh, leader team reroll on it. Mm -hmm. So you could find it. You knew it easy, and you always just keep it first. But that's what we did. Now that's our holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. I can't even imagine playing this on a tabletop. I've never played on the tabletop. No. But, like, not being able to, um, I mean, to quickly see everybody's abilities somehow. Right. It's got to be tough. It takes abilities longer than, than an hour and a half that these, that these level two games take. Oh, I'm sure. It's closer to three hours. I'm sure. And how long does each turn probably t take? A lot more than two minutes, right? I actually, I think there might have. We were supposed to time it at two minutes. Oh, really? I don't, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Mm. The rules were different, even. The, I played Norse, and the Norse didn't even have all of these cool things that they're going to bring us. Oh, really? So yep. they're adding, so the, it, it, the video game company is adding like abilities to the game only. Everybody had block. <laughs> yeah. So, somehow he's got to get a skink down there to that ball. Twinkle toes there. Well, that two arms guy, three arms guy, is just going to walk over and pick it back up again. How can you do that? Just try to run him through, I suppose. Can you hear me, Sestin? Yes. Oh, okay, good. All right, and Craig Matt, can you hear both of us? I think you just died your mic again. And uh, what about now? You went you out midward. Yeah, I'm moving now. Okay. You went right through. <laughs> wow, awesome. Skinks are awesome. <laughs> they just do what you they want, and they want what they yeah. do. <laughs> Man, you gotta love that. Appreciate it, Craig. How many times did they use the dodge like through that? Uh, you know, I still have yet to take advantage of break back, even when I have a, a guy that comes with it. I mean, I, I almost uh -huh. like forget I have it. Another player on the ground. And the Gila Ermo del Toro is stuck. What is that supposed to be? Gila Ermo? Gila? What is that? What's a Gila? Like a, the, it's a, a hero monster, big ass lizard with poisonous uh, bacteria bites. 
Nice. Oh, he might be poison. I don't know. Monitor lizard might be. The well, that's an awesome that name then. I didn't realize how cool that name is yeah. that he did that. All in danger. I was all proud of me. Uh, I was proud of myself because uh, he doesn't wait. have tackle, so he didn't get him. Oh, so he's gonna dodge out. Kill the fool carrying the ball. <laughs> but Bill Ramanowski is still hot on his heels. <laughs> Gila. How much? Let's see. How much does he need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With his two go forks, he can go around. Or without them, he can go through. Monitor Wahlberg is dead. Casualty so early in the match? Hey, I might actually be paying attention. I think your your mic is down. Minus movement. That hurts. Still don't hear you, buddy. And I really, I gotta get a new mic. There you go. I gotta yeah. get a new mic. This is. I was over here screaming my head off. They killed Monitor Monitor Wahlberg. <laughs> the Apim Apothecary stitches him up. And it looks like he will continue to make bad bad movies in the future, but he'll he'll be a little slower. One movement allowance less. Yeah, I like that name too. Wait, I don't I actually I'm not sure. That's the one name I kinda don't like. I don't know why. What's monitor? Well, what's monitor supposed to be? Is monitor well, a type a lizard of lizard also? It's, really a monitor? Yeah. Yep. Oh wow. You don't know all these lizards for I don't know all these. I've never heard of a monitor as a lizard. I'm... Yeah, it's a monitor lizard. Mm. Google it. What does that thing do? I don't, I'm not sure how big it is. I suppose it, I think it's it, really I think good it at really typing. Big. Gila Monster is pretty big. Gila Monster is like four feet long, five feet wow. long. Wow. That's crazy. You don't want to run into that bastard in the dark alley on a yeah. Friday night. Am I right? Oh, they're pretty much only on like some little island somewhere. Gotcha. One of those. I don't know. So we had into turn three. The celebrity reptiles are now taking the helm. And you got to wonder, what is their strategy going to be here? Can Skinky Wizzle, whatever, just really run the ball? <laughs> Craig That's Max say no, Monitor Wahlberg is whack. I thought so, too. I just, I don't like that. It's not close enough, Mark. I feel like you got to play. Your mic is struggling again. Some other name. But not just a more fun. You're waving in and out. Well, I think now you're out completely. Am I out completely? Here? Here? Hello? I hear you trying. Nope, still no. Plugged and then I plugged back in, hoping that would change everything. There you go. Yeah, my mic is just going, ugh, it's terrible right now. Do you have a Bluetooth, oh! a Bluetooth headset for No, uh, oh, it's a wire. Crazy. But can you believe what just oh, happened? That's skinks. what these skinks, man. Skinky whistle teats. Skinky Just yeah. runs into the end zone. He don't care. He is the skink version of the honey badger. He don't care. He just goes and gets what he wants. Is my mic still crackling? Craig Max, is my, my mic is crackling right now. Actually, now it sounds okay. It, it was crackling. Right. So what I'm going to try to do is not move my head too much to the left or right. When I get excited, that's when the mic goes out. Can I stand up? I start have throwing a shit. You Bluetooth headset for your phone or anything? That no, no. I got that one of the other uh, old school. I don't know where it is, but basically, I'm, I'm keeping my okay. neck really still. The thing is, when, when my mic screws up, this has been a pretty exciting game. People hitting each other, a quick touchdown. So. You know, when stuff yeah, like that happens, I kind of lose my shit, and I, I, you know, I smash a beer bottle on the table. <laughs> I try to stab one of my cats. You know, this is, I get a little rowdy. Yeah. So the power hour with some pretty bad luck. Just he got the kickoff in the first in the first half, and the crowd came in and beat up a bunch of his players. And then that's yep. when the skinks just jumped sure in there did. and took over. So that's tough. And then that one skink ran through I don't know, something like five or six dodges. <laughs> when he started from the way to the back to all the way to the end zone. <laughs> I'm over here looking at Craig Mack who's, who's chastising me because I should know better as a podcast host. 
<laughs> Podcast 101. He's got to be got to be yelling for tackle. Oh. He needs tackle on some of these no, He's guys. yelling at his players right now. I'm, I'd be surprised if he hasn't tried to murder one of them. I, I heard yeah. that more shots of motivation, uh, his motivation techniques are kind of questionable sometimes. I think he starts with waterboarding. That's just <laughs> to set the tone. Well, maybe he's got this one. As long as the crowd doesn't come in and knock down half his guys. Yeah, that's just, I mean, that is, that is just, that's an aspect of the game that you just got to deal with. Yeah. Stuff is going to happen. happen sometimes. You're going to get all screwed up. Mm -hmm. The skink kicks it. It's a high kick. And, okay, this one works out for the power hour. Beast Man runs over there, and um, with those extra arms, that's got to be Marsh Marshall. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a uh, Marshik Falk. That's right, Marshik Falk catches this ball, and he is in control. And the opening block by Knob Creek. Oh, Guillermo wow. del Toro is injured. Those claws are nasty, but it is. He's just badly hurt. There's no long-term effect, but we will not see him back for this game. That's, that's tough when you lose a, a, a source. That's a lot of... Oh, no, he used the apothecary on that dead already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from here on out. Knob Creek can single-handedly decimate this team if they're, not, if they're not careful. Knob Creek made it to level five. Oh, is he? He's a level five now? Well, he, he he got there. No, not creepy. Oh, yeah, now. Now he is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I wonder what he's going to throw on him next. What do you think? What, what would you add on Knob Creek at this point? Oh, uh, and he comes up with the skull. But that's what the rerolls are for. After the way that skink just ran, I think I would teach him to tackle. Yeah, yeah. Not only for, you know, for plugging holes like that, but also for hunting these little guys. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, even even Chaos and Orcs, they like to put dodge on Black Orcs and Blitzers whenever they get the chance. So it's nice to have one killer with tackle to just go hunt them down. And it get just ready. goes ham, yeah. All right, and we got a block from, uh, is that on Arnold Croxinator? Oh, and the Croxinator is thrown to the ground. Oh, and he's going to turn over on his stomach. And he's going to take a dirt nap for a little while. He's not getting up for a while. <laughs> it looks like the power hour is charged up, and whatever more shot said to them over there on the sideline is working. Because they are tired of getting pushed around. They're not going to take it anymore. Nope, they're here to kill some lizards now. It's only turn four, so it's still relatively early. I mean, he could tie it up and then stop them when they get the ball back in the next in the next half. And, uh, you know, this could be, yep. uh, you know, that's Red a lot. Though. might be able to win this, but they're going to go home knowing they were in a fight. That's for sure. And, and that's the thing, too. Remember, I mean, now you're looking at how many people has he knocked out already? How many of the play opposing players has he knocked out? As this game wears on and as Knob Creek continues to slice and dice his way through the other team, you're looking at two injured or remedy and permanently out of the game, and you got one sitting on the sidelines. Yep. These skinks are going to hide. Yeah, they are. They don't want any part of Knob Creek right now. And you know, I'm not sure if you can really play this prevent defense right now with four turns. You still have four turns left. What do you think? Yeah. A little too early to run your skinks back? or I don't know. Protecting the skinks is an important part of lizard man play, especially if True. you have someone like that. His claw doesn't mean anything to this game, though. And he doesn't have tackle. It's true. But that mighty blow is a bitch. Yes, yes, it certainly is. It's probably the only time in life I'm running away when somebody wants to give me a mighty blow. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here's the problem with the sources. They're very strong. But they can't run away. Absolutely. And so they're just forced to lay out some punishment. And uh, Jack Daniels actually has dodge. What are the odds, right? A Chaos Warrior you're on is going to have dodge. So he is not knocked to the ground. He continues to stand up. And I'll tell you what, the power hour is looking pretty damn good. 
<laughs> they sure are. This is Craig, strong drive for them. Craig Mack says that that's, that should be a sound clip. That mighty blow is a bitch. <laughs> there you go. Two Chaos Warriors face up on that Saurus. I gotta say, this is a little diff a, a little unorthodox, right? To build the cage right on players, right on the other side's players. One of them could just get yeah. up the next turn, and the other Saurus is standing straight up. Yep. Because those skinks but are all within the reach. Are on the ground. Yep. It's, I don't know. It'll take two of them. No, I do know more shots like to use the strategy of he he says you know he's probably thinking there are four turns to go. I'm advancing, and I'm going to force this guy to make some tough decisions and burn his rerolls. Uh, that looks like what he's doing. And there is a blitz with Bill Ramanowski on Sylvester Stallone. And Stallone takes a seat. Stallone's on his back. And he's just going to keep him there. He's going to leave two Ram men there to make sure that when, when that Soros gets back up, Stallone is, is thinking twice about wanting to get want to get some more of this. Yep. He gets back up, he's gonna be face to face with that claw. Yep. And this is a uh, this is a yucky. predicament. The lizards are starting to look a little beat up. It's wearing down on them. Now we're only one quarter through. <laughs> That's all right, Craig. As long as uh <laughs> thank you, thank you. It still rules, even though you don't understand what we're talking about. Just know that when people get put on their ass, we're happy about it. <laughs> just celebrate the violence. That's all you got to do. <laughs> but just uh, just in case, if you don't know what Mighty Blow is, Mighty Blow is a particular trait that makes you more likely to hurt somebody. And uh, along with Claw, that's basically that, that player has a big-ass claw. You'll notice that a couple of those Chaos Warriors have big-ass claws on their hands. Yeah. On the um, Chaos Warriors, it looks like spikes coming out of their right arm. Yeah. Uh-oh. I think on the Beastman, too. The Croxagore wakes up, yeah. and he's going to teach somebody a lesson. There you go. Michael Strayram knocked on his back. And Arnold and Croxagator is getting in the mix. He's like, I told you, don't fuck around. Now I'm going to come for your ball carrier, and I'm going to make sure that he doesn't go anywhere. Because uh, let's not forget, Arnold Croxigator has a prehensile tail. So you see that nice spiky little tail he's got waving around over there. Well, that makes sure that makes it harder to dodge away from him. It makes you more likely to take a spill. It sure does. That's how I use it. Let's see if I can get in here and get a seat. All right, so Craig, for this, I'm gonna do this special for Craig Knight. See this little claw on this guy over here. That claw is a dangerous, dangerous bitch, and that's not that guy's name is Knob Creek, and he wrecks he wreaks havoc on opposing teams. Where's Knob Creek? He's right there. Um, there he is. Yeah, oh, he's, he's got, in the center okay, of the cave. He's got spikes on his hands, and he's also he's got Wolverine claws cave. coming out. Okay. Wow, look at that. That is pretty ballsy. There is a red die roll. Knob Creek says uh, okay. takes the red die roll and says, "Why not?" Right? If he lands it, it could yeah. pay off. Elizard Beth Banks just stays uh, stays strong though, and the Power Hour is going to take a short break. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was Elizard Beth Banks blocking on on Knob Creek. Yeah. Okay, hoping for the best. Yeah. I'm sorry. He wasn't afraid of three Chaos Warriors. Wow. I don't know. Wow. Maybe not. Highly unusual. And Knob Creek makes him pay. Makes her pay. Elizabeth Banks goes down and she is stunned. Stunned. Man, that's going to leave her with a mark. Bad dice roll, but that's why well, you have the reroll. And. Oh, he didn't even try to take him down with the claw. No, he didn't. Nope. Steven Gokowski knocks down Sylvester Stallone. And now you got Ram Chancellor and Steven Gokowski standing over the limp body while Bill Ramanaski is free to run around the pitch and do what he wants. Yep. Look at that. War M. Sap. Just alone and unafraid over there. But now he gets a little help from Bill Ramanowski, who runs in, gets a little bolster from the horns he's wearing during that blitz. And the Croxinator is going down. He's not stunned, though. No, he's not. So he's going to be dangerous next turn. But while he's down, yeah. you got the numbers on uh, on this other Saurus over here, Newt Gingrich. 
And unfortunately for the power hour, they're not able to put him on his back. But he does back up a little. He backs that ass up. And now it may be time to move that cage. No, he actually takes a step back. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm 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 um. He's not worried about the time. He figures he can get in there when it's when it's good and ready. I guess because it's only skink standing in his way. I got you. There's five skinks left. You can probably plow through them like like yeah, yeah, like paper. And right now they're just worried about making sure that Arnold Arnold Croxinator stays down. But you know what? These Saurus has got other ideas, and Newt Gingrich backs one of the beast men up. Yes, Whiskey. Whiskey has joined us, and the Team Chaos is in the house in terms of the power hour, and it seems that they're doing pretty well. They took um, a quick touchdown for the Celebrity Reptiles. That was a pretty dodgy touchdown, but ever since then, they've been making them pay. He turned it into a, a playground slugfest. And now the skinks are going to get involved. These little nasty bastards don't sleep on them. They're skinks McKenzie. And he's a little he's a well, little evil mother. Keep Marshy Fuck from moving forward. Right now mm -hmm. he is not in range. No, he's not. So if they can keep the ball where it's at. So at this point, I'm thinking the, the celebrity reptiles are thinking, you know what? You got to do whatever it takes to, the ball carrier, so you can to keep these guys back. That that's work. pushing it a little. You're going to a red dice there, but you know what? Marshid Falk also it. does not have block. Does not have block. Leon Skinks is out, but left. he got a job done. He did. He lost that the ball, but now, let's see. Can one of the Beastmen pick up the ball? It bounces around. Arnold Croxinator unable to grab it. The power hour spends a re-roll the there, which is unusual. Ball behind the Crocodator is not a good place for the power hour. Knob Creek wreaking havoc on Skinky Weasel Tits. Can you hear me? Yes, so I hear you. Okay. I hear you. You're a little bit crackly and you kind of come in and out, but I hear you. You got you got Arnold Croxinator right now standing right next to that ball. And um, this is a problem. This is a problem. What was looking like a surefire touchdown is could potentially be a lizard ball. I mean, you get one of those skinks running down the yep. field full full speed. This is an issue. All right, I'm crackling a little. Yeah. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Yep, that stink is open. These two beast men are going to have to cut that ball. Yeah, your mic is still dead. Is currently secure, but now they must grab it. Can you hear me now? Still can't hear you. How about now? Yep, now I got you. Okay. Now I got you. I might as well duct tape it in the way I can. Now, now I'm now I'm actually <laughs> reduced to you know holding the little plug part in place with my thumb. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> but these are the things that we sacrifice so we can do. You know, this is what us real journalists do. Show. Yep. <laughs> So it looks like the power hour is confident. They're two rounds out from the end of the first half, and this they're throwing the chaos dangerous. men out there to make sure that when, if and when they pick up that ball, and he's going to assume it's when, uh, mm -hmm. they're able to make a throw to somebody down the field. The deceptive thing about these chaos men, about the chaos this warriors and the beast men, is that you know, they're known as kill guys. Oh, and Arnold is thrown to the ground and oh. stunned. He's going to be taking a that dirt nap exactly until... What they needed. Exactly. He was going to be with his, with his mouth on the ground open and sucking up that dirt until the next half. And in the meantime, you got the beast men moving into place. Well they do have it well covered. Um, you know, still skinks out there to ruin people's days, though. Yeah. And this saw us <laughs> on the ground can reach it to try and peel one of these guys off the ball. My co-host knows me so well. Yes, holding the plug part with my thumb is actually a euphemism for anal. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now I'm sure there's some calculating. 
<laughs> he said yeah, sucking please. up that dirt is definitely a euphemism for anal. No, that's actually a euphemism for, um, what do you call that? Why, why am I blanking on that? What do you call that when you lick, when you lick crack? When you lick dirt star, what's the, <laughs> what's the name of that? Uh, isn't that a, no, I, I don't remember. Why am I, why am I not remember? I don't know. Uh, I guess eating butt. Yeah, that's that's what it yeah. is. Euphemism. We're getting into stuff we really shouldn't. Preach is gonna be mad at a us. Rim job, they said in He's, South Park. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Rim job. Craig Max said a snowball. Why a snowball? I don't even want to. I probably don't want to know. I still don't know what BDSM means. I still don't know what BDSM means. <laughs> you probably shouldn't say this is a family, a family league. And the skink takes a fall. And his... M is sadism and massacre. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He is bondage. Bondage, I don't know what the is unless it's unless it's part of bondage. BDS. I don't know what the B is. It might be domination. Ah, here's some. It probably is bondage, domination, and sadomasochism. Sado okay. Yeah, that makes sense. None of those are bad words. No, no, no. no that's, you're right. We're on safe ground. Everybody was treating it like, yeah. like you know, I was discussing a, a Cleveland steamer or something. From the way everybody was cringing. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> You're gonna love him. And the power hour is back in control of the field here. He runs that chaos warrior Knob Creek over to try and eliminate the skink, but the skink is dodgy and shifty as those little things are. He still freed up his body. He did. So he can score with get the ball in his hand. It looks like Jameson is going to have an open field to run into the end zone. And the question's really going to be, can they get it to him? Chaotic appendage. Yep. Marshall, um, Marshaeep. Yeah, you go. Marsh, I'm trying to remember his name. Marshaeep Falk picking up the ball. All the same. What the hell just happened? Did he just fumble it? Quick pass. He fumbled it and caught it. No, he threw it. He threw it? He threw it. I've never, I've seen that one time. His target was so close to him that, that he that threw it the to himself. Brought it back to him, and he threw it to himself. He threw himself a pass. A that looks like the clumsiest thing I've ever seen. I think Charlie <laughs> yeah. Brown looks Charlie Brown looks more graceful than that. What that guy just did. Uh, he threw it straight up in the air, and he came back, and he made the catch. <laughs> it's like the, the crowd is like, "Oh, he's gonna throw it for a touchdown!" And he throws it straight up in the air. It's like a. <laughs> It's right up there with a bonehead. That's maybe worse it, than a bonehead. Maybe it's a little bit windy and the wind blew it back. We can give him that benefit of the doubt. Does he get... Uh, no, he didn't get any SPP for that pass. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't look like I, I didn't see anything. SPP. I think you probably have to pass no, it to wait, another player to you, get it. Maybe you only get SPP for a... Completed pass. What's it called? Perfect pass? Or? Yeah. What? Probably a self-pass. You're not getting that. Yeah. So yeah. they try to push Newt Gingrich around and finish him off. And Newt said, no, I'm going to keep doing what I do best, filibustering and holding up your process. Yeah. In the first half. You know, I bet you always get SPPs from a pass if it's caught by your intended target. I bet so. Your mic is dead. Still dead? Yep, I got this. Your thumb slipped, I guess. A fresh start, fellas. Oh, now it's dead again. They're short of one player. Still nothing. That's a gap. This team needs to remain calm and I hear you trying, but I don't hear you. Kicking the ball back to the winning team again. Stack. You hear me nope. now? Can you hear me yep, now? Gotcha. Okay. Yep, gotcha. Again, the thumb right back in that little opening. And uh, that helps for some reason. That's what the controller responds to. This has yeah. got to be the dirtiest one we've done so far. Craig Mack in yeah, here mucking is. up the chat room with talk with talk of anal. Yeah, this mic needs to... Uh, this is the, that, that cool-ass Star Wars mic that you've seen, Craig Mack. And this is how it's treating me. This is messed up, man. I do. I need a new microphone. Unfortunately, the other ones are Star Wars too. is great and all, but when you buy something with it, it's the uh, it's actually the limited edition. Cool on it. No, it's um, it's actually a limited edition um, the X-wing fighter one from Turtle Beach. 
So I paid a good oh. amount of money for it, and um, it's just the, the wire is just going bad. So I'm gonna have to send it in. Yeah. And Probably use the hell out of it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. There is that. Yeah. Greg Mack recycling the same jokes from yesterday. Yes, yes. I need to. I should have got the dark side microphone <laughs> like a man. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> By the way, are you uh, are you okay. drinking anything right now while you're watching this game, Sestin? No, no. I'm I'm having some Left Hand Brewing Company you milk stout nitro. It's pretty good. Nice. What about you, Craig Mac? I know I you're sipping drink. on something. What? Well, it's a question of what, what were you saying, Sestin? For looking at. I don't drink. Oh, okay. Well, good for you. Some of the worst very, decisions very, I've very made very. in life have been because of alcohol. Oh yeah, mine too. That's why I don't <laughs> drink anymore. <laughs> I grew out of being that dumb. Gotcha. No, not me. I'm embracing being that dumb. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I drink uh, responsibly. That's good. I still have, like, I think this year, well, no, it's a new year now. I haven't had any this year yet. And last year, I think I had two two beers. Nice. Craig Mack and is, one uh... Beer, one Craig... beer will hit me pretty hard, because that's all I drink, you know? Yeah, gotcha. It doesn't really used to be wasted, but I definitely feel it. So there's a uh, let's see, both teams brilliant. Both. both teams get a reroll because they they're brilliant coaches. So uh, Craig Max drinking the Broken Goblet Fall of Rising Guard. I've had that. Very heavy on the rye, and it's really good. I actually like that better than what I'm drinking now, which is the milk stout nitro. Although the nitro is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, so lizards back up, back up the power hour a little bit. It looks like they're probably going to try to milk this clock. They've got a lead. There's a dangerous, dangerous yeah. team in front of them. No need to really push it too much. But no. Salamando Asante um, does put a beast man on his butt, and they're going to follow up with that. Sylvester Stallone oh. is going to hit. Oh, he followed up. Yes, he did. And so oh, is that Hort? Horny Saragusa? That's funny. Horny Saragusa. Yeah. Horn. Oh, he should have just gone. If he was going to do Tony Saragusa, he should have said Pony Saragusa. They're horses. I have stepped in on that ball guy. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to figure out what his thought was with bringing that SARS up to stand right next to the ball guy. I don't now know. Both yeah, ball guys can hit one with the blitz and one with a normal block. Yeah, that's not good. And with that, up, and with the beast man you knocked down, getting up, then he doesn't even have to support with anyone else. There's already enough there to give him the two die block. Yep. So we got a skink to skink. Was that a pass or a handoff? That looked like a pass. Uh, I don't so know. it was a I was pass. Still talking about the SARS. <laughs> that's a, that was yeah, a, there was a pass. Well, maybe, now he's oh, handing. now it's a handoff. Yeah, it was a pass. Successfully gets the pass off, and they botch the handoff, but there's a reroll, so then the handoff happens okay. All right, and now this is uh, Art Skinkletter. Safely has the ball in his hands. He tries the stunty right past the Chaos Warrior, who is... Who's that Chaos Warrior? I don't care. They're not talking about the name. Jack something? Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. So Jack Daniels says no and puts Art Skintlander on the floor. And I'm, I'm sure many of us have been floored by Jack Daniels before in the past. This is nothing new. You should have thought better of that before he tried to do that. And the power hour has retrieved the ball. I don't know, man. That was a really risky play when you're up one nothing and you move a lot faster than this team. I feel like he didn't need to do that. But sometimes, you know, going for the throat, going to try to cut the throat like that real early works out in people's favor. So, yeah, can't say he's necessarily he wrong. But a blitz yet, right? no, he hasn't. He didn't take a blitz. It might so come he here. No, I mean the 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 lizards, the reptiles. Oh, okay, they didn't take a blitz. So he could have blitzed all around the side with That's the true. a lizard with banks onto Jack Daniels. 
it would have been one die block, but then you push him and open up and the portal for the sinker. Oh, and Knob Creek removes yet another opposing player from this game. This guy is a problem. He is a problem. I'll tell you what, if I have to play the power the power hour this season, I don't think I do. He's in the West, right? If I see him in the playoffs, I'm trying to kill this Knob Creek guy ASAP. I was, the league has to take care of this guy. You, he's, he's a serious he's danger. West. These guys aren't in my division or in my uh, yeah. Con conference. Yeah, they're West. My... Yeah, they're West. Yeah, I'm West too. But I, they must be in the other West. Right. And that's going to end. The chaos team in mine is uh, Bastard Executioners. Uh, I don't know anything about that. It's a cool name. Yeah. I never so, did see that show. Uh, so, it looks like the cage was mostly set up, but there is a weakness. If you see this croc right, Arnold Croxigator can run right in here and strike at directly this at Marshy Fall. So, oh, that's just, I, I feel like this is a an unnecessary chance that he's taken, but to have well, him dodge in there, to get the one die Arnold block needed, with the... Arnold needed the... Uh, there's a skink in there. It took away a couple of the, the defensive assists. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, I mean, I see that too, but... He had um, three, four, five, six. Right. I feel like he could have probably uh, he needed, accomplished he that to by bringing something. some of the other people from the backfield up. I guess he didn't want to do that. Yeah, I don't think I would have brought the skink up there. But that was very risky. You know. And now he's got him boxed in again. So the, the blitz not successful the way he wanted it to be, but... Now you got Newt Gingrich coming in to give problems to Marshy Falk. And Marshy Falk's got to mm -hmm. be wondering, how the hell do I get out of this one? Because if they dislodge the ball and one of these skinks gets a hold of that ball around this area, he could be off to the races. Yeah, well, she's going to have to wait and see what happens. Power Hour is probably feeling pretty good about himself. I mean... If you would have asked me five minutes ago if I, he was in this game, I re, I didn't really think it was looking good. Um, but it just seems like the right, somehow we have to get away from that crocodile. Yep, the celebrity reptiles have just been they've just been um they they just took a turn kind of unnecessarily. I mean he gambled, and yeah, it didn't pay off. Attacker has an assist. All right, there is a block, and Elizabeth Banks gets pushed back by Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels over here uh, doing his thing, and he is a potential MVP candidate tonight. And there is a hit from Jim Beam against Stinky Whistle Tits, but all he does is move him back. He just pushes him back. Now that still leaves a problem for Marsh Marsh um, Marsh. What the five, hell is this guy's five. name again? I keep the Marsh Sheep Falk. There you go. Still a problem. He still only had a one die block from uh, James. Yeah, because there's so many of the other ones. But Maybe he can get scared. rid of. He needs to push out someone else. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Or he can move in. Knob Creek puts a hit on Sylvester St Stallone. And oh, Stallone is on pain. his back. But is there an injury? No, there's not even a stun. Not even a stun. Help. Not gonna help need though, right here. Siragusa to take down Newt Gingrich. They're handing and then off and they can hit the crotch here. He tries oh, to hand the ball off to a guy that's marked. That's not a bad idea. I didn't see oh, that. Not that's not a bad no, he's not idea. Marked. He's, he's not marked. He dropped the ball yeah. again. He dropped the that ball again and it comes right back ball. to him. Yeah. This yeah. guy really likes to play with his own ball. Yep. Yeah. Is it on a yo yo? <laughs> he tried to hand it off to his buddy, and his buddy said, I don't want that. Hold on to that. Skinky Whizzletits gets KO'd, and the power hour is just back to the regular business of ass kicking. So now you got to be wondering is the strategy, hey, take this little uh, train we got going over here and just start rolling all over these guys and beat them up and take the draw? Or do you think he's going for the quick score? Hoping to dislodge it from the lizard man. And, well, now that he got a corridor open, 
will be you want to try and go through, I think. It's like feeling an and there is a nasty block. Another source is down. I'll tell you what, this Chaos team is not shy about hitting the Sauruses. And uh, Newt Gingrich nope. takes a spill. And there goes Arnold yeah, Croxignata! Oh, little guy hits the big guy! Croxignata's taking a nap, but he's gonna get back up. And, um, okay. yeah. Goes after Leon Skinks, but he has Frenzy, oh, so this is an issue. And he survives. Leon Skinks survives somehow. That's what he's got to be thinking Those over there. Just survive somehow. Man. They are. Slimy All right. Slippery. So now you got um, you got Ram uh, Marsh Deep Falk sitting in the middle of the cage. I, I don't know if you push it, and he's just gonna leave him nice and tucked away. It looks to me I like the lizards have the personnel that. to break the cage. It's just a matter of will they do it. The problem is he probably wants to blitz with the Croxigator, but the problem is that if that if if he gets a bonehead, That's if he boneheads, right. then oh no, he gets the uh, double skulls. Oh, I'm excited, Jim. Double down. This is why I like to employ. Oh, he tries to reroll and the loner kicks in. Loner. And he just ex doesn't God. understand the teamwork. And he Michael drills. Strayram is gonna tell him to take us eat you punk. Power Hour's got an opportunity now. Yeah, to really make some people hurt. Look at that. Ah, Skinkalicious. Ugh. And Leon Skinks is going to take Leon a longer Skinks. nap than after uh, Tyson got to him. <laughs> good times, good times. All right. So it looks like he's going to make a play for that end zone. Gaskowski runs up. Uh, I'm sorry, Gokowski runs up. And marks the uh, Skinky Beaumont. And they That's are building a little mini a cage over there. It's going to be hard to work. The, the only ball. thing you got to worry about is skinks. That'll work this fine. Yeah. And what is this nasty Knob Creek going to do? He's trying to put an end to every source he can. Yep. I'm actually surprised he didn't knock him back toward the other Chaos Warrior and let that Chaos Warrior try to finish him. But no, he just wants to seal off, seal it off. Okay, I see. Yep. That's gonna be a tough job for any skink to break that now. Yeah, he's daring him. He's daring him to take a shot at the ball carrier right now. Because he knows yep. he'll be rolling red dice. Yes, and it looks like we have four viewers right now active in the chat. Um, Hey guys, if you're just tuning in, this has been a pretty exciting game. A lot of turnovers, a lot of ass kickery going on. And uh, I'm just I'm excited to see who's going to come out on top or if this is going to end up being a draw. Pride comes before the uh, It looks like Jim Beam backs up Newt Gingrich, which frees up... It frees up uh, Horny Saragusa to come up behind Newt Gingrich. And I heard that New Gingrich kind of likes when people come up behind him. It's that kind of guy. <laughs> huh. All right. What to do, what to do here, right? This is why skinks are dangerous. So he pushes back Marshy Falk. Gets him out of that protection momentarily. Except he's in the middle of a cage now. These are some brave skinks. They are. I mean, they're just trying to do whatever they can to delay the score, or, I mean, to stop the score. Because, unfortunately, the sources are all on their back or surrounded. Yeah. And I mean, missing, what, two of them? at this point, Morstotz is running a clinic of how to, how to move on a lizard team. And there is Arnold Croxigator. He's going to move up. Yeah, we get two sources in the hospital. Ouch. And another one knocked out. So that's the problem. That's why the skinks are having to step up and be physical. Right. All right. So Skinky Beaumont running. Oh, wait, was that Skinky Beaumont? Or is this, no. That's uh, Art Skink Letter. Mm. 
Sylvester Stallone gets up, moves into position. He is marking Jameson right now. Another red die block, and this one is not so kind to him. Not gonna work out. No, nope. it was on Knob Creek. He's lucky he's not dead. Yeah, exactly. Knob Creek shuts him down, and Elizard Beth Banks takes a spill. We're up to six viewers. Six viewers in the chats. Yes, you are tuning in for the last four rounds of the match between the Bill Cower Power Hour and the Celebrity Reptiles. This is a feature MML match, two very good teams, two very good coaches, and they have been trying to cut each other's throats all game long. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen here. And that is a nasty, nasty block on Skinks McKenzie by Jameson. And Skink McKenzie is going to take a quick dirt nap. Yep. Skinks McKenzie drooling out the side of his mouth and watering the ground. And the power hour now is trying to decide how many different ways they can go into the end zone at this point. Because it looks like they're just taking a steamroller and rolling their way in there. And somehow, Skinky Beaumont avoids injury on that one. Let's see what happens next. They're going to have to spend a second beast man to make that. Oh, he's going to use the blitz. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's going to run him out there. Okay. He's, he's going to run used... him, but he no. doesn't have enough to even push in. He hasn't used his blitz yet. So does he now take Jack Daniels? Four, four, five, six, seven, yeah, that's what he's going to do. He'll take Jack Daniels and put him back. And he's going to surround yeah, Skinky Beaumont. Well covered now. Yeah, why not? Why not take the shot? Recovering him? escape doesn't mean shit. <laughs> yeah, that's so very true. He's already Those little slippery mofos. And he's going to keep using that blitz with Knob Creek. And Knob Creek yeah, sits down. Him. He sits down our skin ladder. And um, that's going to slow down the, the, uh, the lizards for a little while. To come out on top. Yikes! Skinky Beaumont is there finally KO'd. These these skinks, they've really shown us a lot in bravery today. Um, unfortunately, it's starting to catch up with up to them. Luck is running out, and now you're only seeing a total of five, six beastmen. I mean, six lizards on the pitch, and the beastmen are just going to town, you want working to stop them. That ball. The working them. Has that can stop that ball. He's making a couple What's that? and he's gonna foul him while he's down. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty, and it's gonna put Newt Gingrich. I guess he's stunned, but Hen Hen Horny Siragusa gets thrown out. And you know what? He can afford that at this point. Yeah, he can. He's definitely got the numbers, and stunning that uh, you know, stunning, stunning Newt Gingrich was very useful. All right, he's covered all those skinks and, and sources over there. He does have Leon skinks getting up, but he won't be able to reach him, as we can see. Now, Next the turn. only one that can, make, can, can reach him is Sylvester Stallone. But he'd have to make two dodges to do it, and with one jitter, that's not going <laughs> Yeah, happen. yeah, that's about as much chance as Sylvester Stallone starring in a, a ballet next month. It's not going to happen. Now, but what he can he do is... out of the way... Yeah. If he gets out of the way, then Praxagor can make it. He will also have to make to. Uh, oh wow! Win. That was very ambitious. And he makes yep. it. He's up in his face. Marsheep Falk was so staring at Sylvester Stallone. And here comes Leon Skinks to get a little closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the question is, can he get Arnold Croxigator there? At least he made it so Power Hour has to make a roll somewhere. And he's going to go after Jameson. Goodbye, go. Jameson. Yikes. So the celebrity oh reptiles God, get up in the face of 
three of the beastmen, and um, I guess he's forcing him to have to dodge out. But the only problem is that more shots has four rerolls. And Art Skinkletter is going to take a spill trying to dodge out. And his turn is going to be over. That's a turnover. And Scar Art Skinkletter is stunned. Stunned. We are bearing down on the fourth to last turn from the Bill Cower Power Hour. Now, I ask you, uh, what do you think he is going to do with this? Is he subscribing to Just Score Magazine? Or does he, uh, you know, is he, he going to milk this well, clock and just beat him up? That's an awfully big field for a Chaos turn to score in three turns, for a Chaos team to score in three turns. But it, it definitely can be done, especially against a, a team depleted that doesn't team. have a kicker. Right. And they're depleted. Yeah, and they're depleted. If they had a kicker, I think I would just have to stick with the... the other team steal it away. Michael Strayram lays the block... He does not floor him, but he pushes Sylvester Stallone back. And it looks like Marshit Falk is going to have a clear touchdown run if he wants it. Now it, go it goes back to what does he want to do? Well, he's yeah, got rerolls. He's got four rerolls. But he's got four rerolls, so I see what he's I see what he's doing. Yeah, he wants to he wants to see if he can get rid of this crop. Right. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Definitely, if you can get that Croxagore KO'd or worse, then you definitely want to go next round. Well, Bill Ramanowski no, puts him down, but he is not going to go to sleep. So now might be the time to run in Marshy Falk. Yep, he ran in. And there you go. We have a tie game. Ladies and gentlemen, Falk scores in the... 13th turn, the 13th turn, Marshy Falk, and we have a tie game here. Say hello to the Bloodweiser babes. Shaking their groove thing for it. Lizards definitely have a shot at taking this. But uh, with the numbers, they'd have to get pretty lucky on Skink Dodgers, which they've done before. And, and it looks like Sasser is cheering them on to, to go for it. Up. Sasser wanted him to score. Wow. So, okay. So he is short two skinks. So that's going to be a problem. Seems impossible to win. He still has three of them out there. That's pretty good. This needs to be a hell of a kick. No rerolls, though. Yep. So Stymie's out of rerolls. More shots has rerolls. Has more than he needs at this point. Yeah. Where's the kick go? Oh, and the reptiles get one. Reptiles get a reroll. Which that actually works out for the power hour. Oh, and that ball is at the... Oh, that's basically an onside kick right there. Yep. What is going to happen? I am, really I'm on the edge of my seat hour. here trying to figure this out. Whoever kicked they that ball, you need to go buy them a drink, stuff. power hour. Yep. This is the uh, the celebrity reptiles are in the Noble South Conference, by the way. Well, this is not okay. a conference game because it's uh, celebrity reptiles are Noble South, and they their uh, last week's game they tied. And let's see, who are they? You're, which ones are you in? Which conference are you in, and who do you play? Uh, I'm in a dungeon list. Okay, so it's not first form. So it's not they must West. be playing against Iron League because we aren't. Gotcha. It is Iron League. Going for it. Ah, good. He's got the ball. Wow! Look at that. We got the ball. Skink on skink action right there. He's gonna pass off. Or he's gonna hand off rather. Skink McKenzie now has the ball. And then the question becomes, are you just going to try to protect this ball, or are you going to move up and try to go for the win? I don't think you sit back he there and going hide to the ball. the ball. Really? That's just, wow. That's kind of cowardly, if you ask me. He wants I to think I would have went for it, but I can understand. Yeah. I can understand and respect that decision, especially with the way the Chaos have you outnumbered. <laughs> Not <laughs> really them done killing people. That's a big hit, Sylvester Stallone on Odell Beckram, but uh, Beckram's gonna get up yeah. next match, next he round. Took his, 
It took his That's bonus re-roll to do it. So it looks like last week both teams, uh, both of these teams tied. And, um, wow. I guess uh, Stiley's okay with tying because he's just, looks like he's just sitting his, his men back and he's going to bash the other team until he maybe sees an opening and then go for it. But I think by then it's probably going to be too late. Yeah, it doesn't. Let's see. Two more turns after this. I don't think. Maybe, it maybe it's possible. Where's his other stick? Those players. Yeah, he's it looks like he's just playing for the tie at this point. Yeah, That's crazy. Now. Oh, so Sasser thinks he might just be burning the turn before making a dash for the end zone. Uh, um, but any hopes of doing that kind of just in the middle of the, got leveled, he's right? He's got this stink in the middle of the half. So yeah. if you can hand it off to him. Yeah, but then, then where's he going to go? Well, ideally, because Leon just took a, a, a to long nap. just got stunned. Yeah, but that was his plan. Yeah. Now that that fell through, well, now he, he should, just wants to hold on to the ball. He should have thought of that a little bit more because Shots recognized that was going to be his plan as well. And he took yeah. care of that. He killed all that noise. So, yeah, you're right. He's just basically going to play a game of keep away as long as he can now. Yeah. But now, he's got three turns. That's all his choices. That's only three turns to do it. And uh, that's just tough. It's really tough to do. All right. We've got. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're doing it's back not well, and Sylvester Stallone. And now they're marking up Salamando Asante as well. Numbers. Who is that? He just moved over there. He just moved Jack Daniels over to the left. So he's gathering these numbers. And there's going to be a blitz with Michael Strayram. Apparently, wizards. I got that name. Oh. Michael Strayram. That's great. Yeah. They're all, all his names are pretty good. That's the best team. name, I think. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks gets leveled. That, that's pretty good, too. Yeah. yeah. Michael Strayram. Yeah, that's my MVP. Did the uh, floor? That's the greatest. Name. Where's oh Jack Daniels already? Oh no, that's that's Jim Beam. Jack so Daniels he's... stepped up there. Oh Knob Creek, Knob Creek is. I'm surprised he didn't blitz with him. Knob Creek has been a monster this game. Might be blitzing him every turn. He's probably chance. wanting to share some of the SPPs. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right, the lizards badly outnumbered now, and they're just playing keep away, trying to survive for two turns. Oh, a bonehead by Arnold Croxigator is uh, is going to make matters worse for them. But Salamando Asante steps up and clocks Steven Gokowski. So that's going to help. But now the problem is with Schwarzenegger, or I mean with Croxigator uh, boneheading, now you're going to have St uh, Worm Sap and Knob Creek with straightaway runs at the ball carrier. The now he's fast enough to get yeah. out and run them. But if they keep those beasts well, on the other side. Since he's going for the, since he's going for the top, I would run the skip all the way to the other side. Yep. And then I would use this other skink and the Saurus that are in the middle to create a frontal cage. Except that, well, here's the problem, right? Because he does yeah, have, he yeah. he's got, he's got Ram Chancellor over there on the right. That's not going to be easy. And, um, and I think he's got some free people that can get down there, especially once they floor New Gingrich. Yeah. Oh, See, on, he works with his SARS. I would have brought this SARS back to help defend the ball. Because... If you have if you have a shell around your ball carrier, it takes more than one turn to get to hit him. Right. Well, it is going to take more than one turn at this point because it doesn't yeah. look like anybody is can. There a can good chance? All these guys just player. they need to run forward and just take their shot now. All right, and so and that's how this is going out. Yeah, Michael Stram puts a pretty good hit on a lizard with banks. He's not going to do it yet. So Marshy Falk comes decisive. over there, and he needs to use the reroll. That could be costly. 
And Elizabeth Banks is going bye-bye. Oh, and she's injured. Injured. And the fans are going buck on her. Oh, that's terrible. That's just disrespectful. Badly and she's hurt. badly hurt, but no long-term effect. So that's good. We will not see her back today. But, I mean, really, at this point, we're talking about one more good round for the Lizards, and that's it. You know what I would do with this scope? With the ball carrier? What's that? I would bring him all the way to the edge. So, so if they that, knock if it they loose, yeah. Out, yeah, then it has a pretty fair chance of ending up anywhere. Yeah, it's risky because the fans have been known to it's throw risky. it right back at him, too. Yeah. But it just looks like the power hour is just well, going to work. That, with that other scheme. The power hour is just demolishing the lizard team. Yeah. Now I would put him in the corner and put this other stink, you know, in, in front the corner of right out for him. Makes sense. So if they're going to use their blitz on the ball carrier, they have to dodge inside. This was a really interesting game. Definitely. I mean, the positioning by both coaches is good. Yeah. And they're going to move up Knob Creek. I'd recognize those claws anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And Warm Sap looks like he's moving in for the kill. So they've got one turn to make this thing happen. Will they be able to do it? This is what it all comes down to. Two teams. Let's see if he had the same idea I had of putting him in the corner and putting the other guy. Looks like corner, he's thinking right about now. it. Yep, he's thinking about nice. it. Both teams would like to turn this into a uh, opening or, or their first win of the season, but uh, it's looking more yep. and more like a tie. But if anybody has a chance, it's uh, it, it's going to be the power hour. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if their press conference is riddled with comments about how this other coach tucked his tail between his legs and hid. But hey, Probably. it's effective. It's effective, huh? Let's see if it works out for them. They do have a reroll to make the dodge inside. I hope he's not going to go with my idea. Anymore. And he's going to—he's going to go for a red die roll. That's just yeah. very, very risky. So everybody's marked up, but they got two guys that aren't marked. He definitely wants this guy to be as far away from that marshy fuck as possible to be away from that extra arm so it's not so easy to pick up a ball if they do knock it out right but he also has three rerolls i mean he's got a reroll basically if he needs it if he yeah. fails to pick it up so i don't know it's looking promising if power hour was to get the ball right now i think that they'd be fine they'd really be able to do some things but um you know Hopefully for the celebrity reptiles, they're going to know what to do with, with Art Skink better. And he's going to move, and he's going to go... Well, it's close to the corner. It's Skink's McKenzie, rather, not Art Skink letter. So he's going to force this beast, beast man to duck out. And was that... Oh, so he, he must have broke tackle with that Crocs. Crocsigator. And Arnold no, Crocsigator gets in the way. I did not see that. So he hit Stephen Gotkowski, stuns him at Salamando Asandi. I didn't see it either. Where was it? It's right here in the Who center of the hit? field. Okay, and that's why it. Stephen Gotkowski. And that's it. Um, the, the celebrity reptiles have done everything they could to try to keep the power hour out of their end zone with the ball. And now it's just up to Nuffle. Yep. Very interesting. Oh, no, he double skulls. But that's what the rerolls are for. He had more shots has been responsible with his rerolls. Art Skinkletter is KO'd, but that also clears the path. Even though it did take his reroll, the path is now clear to get at. It's going to take a go for it. Leon Skinks. It will. And oh, they cut us. I hate when they do that. Oh, he must have cut it. It's a tie. 
Yeah, it's the tie. Oh, okay, so he wasn't able to dislodge the ball. That basically. was interesting. He must have failed to go for it. I hate how the game does that and ends yeah, it. Yeah, he failed to go for it. Cabal Vision ends it um, on that when the oh, play I saw, Oh, I saw the... You the saw the... Failed go for it animation. You did? Yep. I didn't see it. it the, at the end of the game, no. when that happens, I usually don't even get to see it. No, I had I had it. That was it. It just oh, showed nice. him trip his feet go up in the air, fall on his back, and that's it. Okay. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an exciting game. Unfortunately, ended in a draw. Both teams with, uh, you know, two draws each. I mean, it could be a worse, could be a worse season. But, um, you know, I, just, I, I guess uh, if you if you won one and you lost one, then you're still in a better position than two ties because you got three points toward the standings and the ties yeah. are only worth one each. So My team has a loss and a tie. That ain't very good. Yeah. Two ties is better than hurting, what I got. You're hurting. <laughs> But yeah, um, it, let's take a look at the quick uh, stats possessions. You got the 56% ball possession by the Bill Cower Power Hour and 31% by the Celebrity Reptiles. The other percentages that are out there is when the ball was laying on the ground. And then you had 58 only blocks. Had two armor breaks. Yeah, 58 blocks for the Bill Cower Power Hour succeeded, and 20 I'm only half of that, not even half, of, like not even Our half of that blocks. 27 ball. blocks for the Celebrity Reptiles. That's crazy. Um, both teams looking like they got the same kind of SPP. And, yeah, five KOs on, on the Celebrity Reptiles. They sustained three casualties. You know, and the Cower Hour looks like they, they've just been practicing. It looks like they haven't really even been in a fight. Yeah. So they were, they were nasty. That's crazy. Let's, uh, let's give a minute. I'm going to try to invite Coach. Uh, I'm going to invite Coach uh, uh, More Shots on here and see if he's got if he's got anything to say for a post game interview I know he had to be a little frustrated and maybe we can get him we'll give him we'll give him like a minute if he jumps in we can interview right. him it'll be great and uh if not but you know whatever so what were your thoughts on the game there Seston what do you uh what would you have liked to see different what, what, what I would impressed have liked you? to see the reptiles try and run a skink to the end zone and get the win instead of I just laying and playing what they were thinking I can definitely understand what they were thinking. They were thinking, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are Sauruses? They're all beat up. What can we do? The Knob Creek was no yeah. joke. No joke. Exactly. So, um, well, unfortunately, it looks like he's not jumping on right away. Um, we, we, uh, we won't get to hear from more shots, but I'm sure he will put out a press release. Uh, once again, if you're watching at home and we still have some five viewers that are on live right now. And for those of you that are tuning in afterwards and listening to the commentary, thanks for joining this us. Circle I am Serious Jest. This is Seston, my co-host over here. And um, like if you like what you ball. see. And As you want to know more about the MML, check out MMLPro.com. And also, if you like hearing me talk about stuff and, uh, you know, you enjoy a good podcast, I also host a podcast called Live from the Man Cave. And you can check that out at, that out at www.LiveManCave.com. It's all one word. Thanks a lot. You want to sign off with anything, uh, Thank you all. Nope. I'm good. All right.